Imagine signing a $2,800 client for your SMMA agency or coaching business. The feeling you get of signing this client goes through the roof, your dopamine spikes, and you are ecstatic to actually be able to help this client with their business. Now, this is actually what I wanna be sharing with you today because I'm sick and tired of all people talking about how they sign these big clients, but no one actually sharing it with you how they do it and actually sharing it with you live. So that's exactly exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you today, how I've been able to sign one of my real estate clients that I've been helping with my agency, with my marketing agency. And I've been able to do a check-in call with this person, with this business owner, and I've been able to get him on a close to a $3,000, I think it was per month, but we'll get into that at the end, deal that we've been able to do, right? So it's been a something that I've been thinking of sharing with you guys, because I think it's so important to actually know how to talk with clients. And you'll see me talking pretty relaxed with this client, because I already know that he's going to continue. I already know the results that I'm achieving. So I want to share this, uh, you know, today with you. I'm going to go through the live call and break down everything every single thing that I, in my opinion, could have done better so that you can pretty much just learn off of the things that I could have done better and take it for yourself with, to talk with your clients and improve these things also for yourself as well. So without further ado, let's go into the live sales breakdown or have how I've been able to close a close to a $3,000 client and share with you all the nitty gritty. Let's get into it and see what I could have done better and what you can take from it as well to implement in your own sales calls. So we'll be starting with this call where you'll see me just, you know, putting on my meditation music and all those things and just pretty much just not really caring about, you know, having everything perfect because there's so many things that I notice from people actually wanting to do things perfect. And I don't do that, right? Like I'm just like myself, that's it. I don't really try to be tense when there's a meeting or like do anything specific. I'm just myself. So let's get into the first few seconds and go through everything that I've done. And you hear, by the way, Kaho behind the scenes, who's filming me, who helped me filming everything. And he's talking with, you know, um, at that time, pretty much my dog, because this was off some time ago. But um, yeah, so if you hear someone in the background, then that's him. Good. Wayne, can you? Hi. Let me see. Let me just turn off my uh, meditation music. <laughs> One second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> A long work day. Wait now. How's everything going? You see, so so I even have had my meditation music on. Like, I don't really care. Like, it brings a little bit of play into the game because like everyone is just so serious and like with real estate agents or like with any other niches, people are so used to like being like really like 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 you know you gotta be like really serious and all those things and I'm just pretty relaxed. Like I don't really care, right? Of course I gotta be formal and I am and you'll see that in a second, but. You know, I start the meetings off like pretty relaxed. Now, keep in mind, this is already a this was already a client before, so it makes it a little bit easier. But still, there needed to be to you know an upsell upsell needed to happen. So I was still like in the mindset of like, okay, I'm gonna upsell this client and work my way towards getting him onto the you know another paid paid plan in that sense. Pretty good. Um, so I want to show you what I'm working on. For I'm organizing the testimonials into a. I can show it to you. Okay, oh. I can show it to you kind of like that because it won't um, disappear. If I do this, I disappear. Um, but what I've got is I, I sat down and started doing an analysis of the testimonials that I have, what I ha whether I ha they're buyers or sellers and buyers. Those are the two groups that they're going to be. There's eight buyers and there are 17 sellers, buyers, and sellers together. Um, I've got, I think there's 11 there. There's 17 uh, photos. Okay. So we, I talked about it with Kelly and trying to figure out, because you've seen, I think you've seen, uh, I'll show you in two seconds here, um, what I've had before. So this is what I've, I've been working with before. I've got, you know, um, a photo and, or photos and stories with them. Well, in order to do that with photos and so many testimonials, um, what I'm thinking of doing is doing it more like, let me stop sharing, doing more of, of a 
one page of text and maybe I, I bold out or make larger some of the, uh, the call outs within those testimonials. Because mm -hmm. in the sellers, the sellers and the buyer sellers together, you know, there's 17 of them. Um, to try and fit photos in with them and making sure that like this person goes with this, this story and this photo goes with this story, that's going to be a pain in the ass yeah. for one. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is we'll do one whole sheet with just the text okay. and then we'll do a page or two pages worth of the photos. We'll put their names below the photos. So if somebody with the idea that people, the reason that they look or how they look at testimonials is they want to look for people like themselves. Correct. So if they're a seller, and by the way, I don't talk I don't say sellers, I, the language I use, these are homeowners who are selling yeah. or people looking or people looking to buy a home. They're not buyers. They don't consider themselves that. So we shouldn't call them that. Yeah. Agents make that mistake all the time. Um, but so they're looking for people. So in the photos, they may look at, because the photos are kind of cute. They've got their, you know, they're holding the sign up and all that, yeah. which yeah. is kind of neat. And they like, oh, that's really cool. And they're looking for, that's a person of color. That looks like an Indian family. That looks, uh, you know, that's a, an older couple. Mm -hmm. That's a young, you know, single female. Um, that's a young couple with a, a baby. So they see those and they go, oh, that, okay. And then they might actually go over and, and read the text and go, well, wonder what they said. And they might look for their name and see what they said. Um, so anyway, that's the, the effort going on today. Okay. Um, I also just posted yesterday, a couple days ago, I posted a video on the YouTube channel with the testimonial. So just keep in mind, like this client, he's so like proactive. So I, like all the things that I've been talking <clears throat> with him here about that he's jumping in on, I have actually suggested him. And that is something that I always recommend if you have an agency or SMMA, like don't just go ahead and you know, just only do the ads for your clients and just that's it. Like I always try to over deliver to my clients. So I tell him like, listen, you have a lot of testimonials. Let's get those, all those ones down on pen and paper and may, and give me the, the, the pictures of those, give me everything that they've been saying and let's work on those in terms of running them as an ad, maybe as a retargeting ad on meta ads and just pushing them back on the people that actually saw our lead form or our funnel, but haven't actually clicked on it, if that makes sense. Because there's always ways that I can improve the cost per lead. There's always ways that I can improve the conversion for my client. So I look at different ways on how to actually do it. And with this client, he was always so proactive in terms of me actually telling him to do something and then he acted on it immediately. He also talked about a YouTube video, you know, he actually was uploading YouTube content. So I was helping him as well with the personal brand side of things, which is also something that you really would need to help your clients with, not only just deliver them leads, I'm actually also working on their top of funnel, meaning I'm working on actually improving their brand, which I know will actually get us cheaper cost per leads if I start doing YouTube ads, which I actually ended up doing for uh, for him. And then also like meta ads as well. Like if he does like an Instagram page or profile and then a Facebook page where he posts content, I know that if he builds a personal brand, people will get to know him in his local area, especially as a real estate agent is really valuable and important. And then from people knowing him, they will go to his profile and the ads that I will be running will be more familiar, you know, to those people because they will actually have already known him from his personal brand. So that's what I want to make sure that you do as well is like really try to think outside of the box with your clients because it's not only about oh I'm just going to get you some ads or up and running and get you some leads like no it's not it's not all about that like it's it's actually about how can you build their business you're pretty much just a consultant all right so that's the mindset you need to be in and that's the mindset I was in here as well so that's why you hear all these things that he's mentioning right now um, that currently is a six minute six minute 30 second testimonial I'm gonna short. I'm gonna do a shorter version of a two-minute testimonial. It's nice to have the nice long story, but I also think when she says good things, I don't need to have a minute's worth of explanation of what why she said that, right. which is kind of what she did for now. So, okay. Uh, so other than that, um, I've been 
taking care of the communication that's coming um, as they're coming in. Yeah. Um, the ones that look like they need attention, I've not gone back through and, and taken care of the old ones back from earlier in the month. Okay. Um, but I will do that when we're off the phone here. I have nothing scheduled for this afternoon, so I've got a couple of things. This morning, I had planned on taking care of most of that, yes. um, but I ended up talking with a client for half an hour um, who called just to BS. It's like, just want to call and touch base, and she's lived in the area for 20 years, mm -hmm. so... I want to make sure that I have time, unfortunately, um, because, you know, five of her neighbors might want to move yeah. before two. So, gotcha. and she literally called just to check in. So, I just want to say hi. Okay. Well, um, that's it as well, right? I mean, keeping in contact with people that can give you referrals or anything else is... Right. And that's the first thing I wanted to touch upon is be the conversations because I still saw that the conversations were at least most of them were open uh, so I just wanted to touch base and see kind of what the situation was with the conversations uh, and if you need any assistance with that from us just let me know um, and we, we have the template so basically it's all, yep. it's all there it's just that the people need some responses just to keep them a little bit warmer especially some people are there from August uh, I think from mid August, beginning of August. So um, Sep September 9th is the lap is the wait. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's more. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Right. August. You're right. Yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, those are all people that have taken the time to fill in the form, fill in the, go through the ad, yep. get the information, get all those messages, and even take the time to respond. So um, and even if they're not interested, we have them for the long term. Uh, and perhaps they'll look to do business in the long term. So it's it's a win-win basically from on that note. Uh, I don't know if you saw just because it just happened. That's why I'm I'm talking about it. Um, there was a booked appointment uh, basically yes. just a few minutes before. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I saw it and, I, and it's scheduled for this after or for, yeah for this afternoon at like at one. Okay. Okay. And I saw that. Uh, so what I'm doing here is if you have already an existing client, it's so important to touch upon. You know, I'm not even starting with, hey, you know, your ads or hey, the performance of the ads, because the thing is like with existing clients, it's almost never about lead generation. Like if you got that down one time, it will pretty much the, the leads will be just flowing in. Right. Especially for real estate agents. If you use things like the homes list and the listing ads, like you're going to have a great time. What I'm starting with actually, and it, which is the most important thing that you guys a lot than a lot of people actually miss out on is the lead conversion. So I start with, hey, in your conversation, so we use grozy.io, right? That's our partnered version of the high level, the system. So we have conversations and I, I start with, I saw a lot of open conversations. Have you actually been able to pick them up? And it was like, no, it was like a month ago that I did it. I was like, okay, so we need to do that ASAP. And then he said, I'm gonna have blocked off time after this to be able to do that. I'm like, great. And then I'm gonna double check if he actually did it because the thing is, I can bring all the leads. If he doesn't convert them, there's no use to me actually keep on bringing leads if he's not converting them. So what we actually ended up doing is putting on a VA, a virtual assistant that was from Mexico. So she spoke pretty good English. We put her on this and she was pretty much just calling all the leads for him that came in within like five minutes. So, and that increased the conversion. She was booking a lot of appointments. And what we also had for him is when someone filled out the lead form, right, then they pretty much got, you know, sent to a calendar page where they could already book a discovery call. And that was a 15 to 20 minute discovery call with him personally, one on one and set up also in Grozy because we can have a calendar there like you would have in Calendly. We have that in Grozy.io set up for him so he can pretty much and link to his Google Calendar. So whenever someone books in, it sends people over to his Google Calendar and then he can take the call via Zoom or via phone with those people. And that's why I said like two minutes ago, actually a booked call came in. So I had not only be him calling the leads, picking up the conversation and a lot of people coming through, right? I also had a VA put on it, right? And then I also on top of that, tested out the book a call. So for him to actually have people automatically book a call and it worked. So what I'm trying to say with this is, like I said, back again to my first point, it's not only about running ads to your clients. Lead generation is usually not the issue. The issue is actually them converting the leads when you do local lead generation. So we do local lead generation. You need to focus more on the converting of the leads instead of actually just acquiring the leads. Of course, get your acquiring of the leads down first. That's most important, but then focus in on how can I strategically and smartly convert these leads? So I, I had, for example, you know, following ups with him, 
if he does it every single day. Then I had a VA put on it who can call the people, SMS the people if needed. Then I had, you know, asset pretty much like all the things, uh, you know, at hand to actually automatically have people book a call. And then on top of that, I actually had reactivation emails set up in such a way that if someone didn't want to do work with him right now, he, he could automatically put them or the VA could automatically put that person in a three month timeline email and SMS follow up reactivation, six month one, nine month one, 12 month one and 24 month one. So we had all these things actually fixed, you know, set up in such a way that when someone didn't want to work, at least they, we had a specific conversion system converting these leads over a longer period of time. Okay. So that's really important that you understand that and that you set up these things in places and check that with your clients first, instead of, oh, you know, these are the ads and let's see how the ads are doing. Like they don't care about that. They just care about how many clients are you going to get them. Initially, I didn't see the text that was in there. Um, and I'm thinking, so I went and I did some research to see where they own. And the only person that comes up, that's not a real common name. Um, and they come up as owning a property in northern New Jersey, up near up near New York, which is not anywhere close to me, um, and in the wrong state. So I started typing, you know, kind of a maybe we should the the ISA should kind of ask what state are you in. Um, yeah. But then I saw the, the the note came through says he lives in Pennsylvania. Yeah, and looking to purchase their second home, so they you know, it might not be that person. Um, and, you know, if they're looking in the area, they're looking for 400 to 500,000. I absolutely will, I will have a conversation with them, with them this afternoon. Amazing. Um, Amazing. So. Awesome. Awesome. So I don't know if you've noticed in the kind of, kind of the past month, but something that we hypothesized that would probably happen is, you know, a little bit less quantity of leads, but you know, right. better quality. I noticed that almost every single lead that's coming through is one to three months timeline or three to six months timeline. We're not getting any six to 12 months or, uh, or never basically right. or anything right. like that. So when I say three to six months, six to 12 months, 12 months plus all those things and the timeline, what I actually mean with that is when we have a lead form for real estate agents and you could do this with any local lead gen client, you can pretty much have in the lead form a specific multiple, uh, you know, um, multiple question uh, type of, uh, you know, questions you ask, the multiple choice type of question. Then one, you know, specific response that we give them as an option is, when do you want to like do uh, take our services to you? For example, when do you want to sell your house? So it could be like within one to three months, three to six months, and then we give them all these options. And in our opinion, if someone, you know, is saying like, I want to do it now, or I want to do it within one to three months, we recognize that person as actually a warmer lead than someone who says, I want to do business with you or sell my house within six to 12 months, right? Because it's a longer period of time that they actually want to do the work. So that's what I mean when I mentioned that. So uh, the quality on that note is, is, is good. So we're going to keep on continuing doing the homes list. We have created a new copy for the homes list. So that will be launching um, as soon as possible, basically to have that one running to see if we can, you know, get a little bit of a lower cost per lead, but even still uh, get more quantity with the higher right. quality leads, leads if that makes sense. Right. It's a continuous process of basically making the ads better and looking at different things on how we can do that. Um, now, uh, another thing that we did is we have created a, a new copy with um, for testimonials, so um, and also a new image for testimonials. As you can see, proactiveness, that's what you need, right? Like you cannot just sit on your bottom and just expect that your client is gonna continue with you or simply pay you the sum that this client ended up paying me again, right? So you need to be proactive. I've written new copies. I've written, you know, created even new images, created new testimonial copies, trying out things, testing out things, seeing what can work. I'm being proactive and that makes the partnership and the goals you wanna to achieve together so much easier to achieve because it's a partnership from both ends where we're both working and being proactive on it. So I would really recommend to you every single day that you start your day, see how you can you know, deliver the value to your clients so they can actually get better results. Because at the end of the day, the bottom line, the reason why they'll extend their partnership with you or start a partnership with you is that you deliver more value than what you actually ask for, okay? That is really important. You'll be noticing that during the course over the remainder of this call. And I tried downloading one video in particular, basically from your YouTube, just to have it in place if we want to run that in the future, uh, with you seeing that, of course, and, and giving uh, you know us permission basically to do that. Um, right. Is Arp? Uh, I think it was Arp and uh, his wife. Uh, I forgot. Art and Barb. Yes, them. Art and Barb Ham. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. So. Um, 
I didn't see that video also in the Dropbox folder that you shared. I did see a lot of different videos, but just not that particular one. I wasn't able to download it from YouTube as well. So um, yeah, let me. I'll I'll find that because um, I know that uh, that I think I used Videolicious to do it, but I would have downloaded it. Let me just quickly check, and I can add it to um, Dropbox. Okay. Okay. In my calendar. Okay. And is that a Zoom call uh, by by standard, or is it is it a phone call? <laughs> Um, that's something that can you, can you ask the ISAs for the future when they do this? Mm -hmm. I would suggest a Zoom call and they can book the Zoom call right, right from Calendly. So, yeah, yeah. um, because have you, um, for the booking that they're booking right now that they have access to, is that your phone call, uh, appointment scheduler, or do you have also another one with, with your Zoom link basically in it? If you know what I mean. Um, from from Calendly, when you when they click on the link, mm -hmm. and they post and when they plug the stuff in there, there is an option for a call or a Zoom call. Okay. So they have the option. Okay. And what they they usually they usually do a phone call, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which is fine with me, but I mean, especially when I'm when I've got my shirt on and I, and I'm, you know, You're looking sharp. My little, You're looking. You sharp. know, in the background, I. Honestly, I, you've got it set up so you have a really nice. I don't. If I turn off my, what do you call it? I, you know, it's a chair behind me. But yeah. um, but this looks like a professional. Yeah, it's good. It's it's perfect, and that's why that we were talking like the past couple of weeks. Uh, we want to get a Zoom call in, right? We want right. to have people to talk with first and foremost because you can record a call and we can take a look at it. And second of all, if you do a phone call, there is a way to record it, but the only way is to if you have made a call to them within our system and they give you a call back it automatically records the call basically okay because they call through the system to your phone so it gets right 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 so uh anyhow if, if i if i call through the if i make the call through the system will it record or yes. only if they only if they call me no, no, no. So, so basically what we can do is, um, I don't know if I, if I told you that recently. Yeah, you can yeah. Go in the system, uh, click yep. on uh, basically the green button that, that they have next to your name. Yep. Dial them immediately. Right? Okay. Yep. And we have an, another basically phone number. We can change that phone number to your area code. I don't know if we have done that for, for you uh, per se, but we can take a look at that, change that. And then also the phone calls that they give back to you, we can have an automatic redirect to your phone. So you get uh, basically a call if they call you and that call gets also recorded. So all calls get recorded basically. That's what I'm trying to get. And, to. Um, and that would probably be a good idea. Cause I, I mean, I can call from uh, from here, um, which is fine. Uh, as long as the, the call quality is decent, you know, we should be fine. And I don't mind it being recorded. Um, sure. But if they call in, it would be great if it would forward to my phone because obviously I'm not sitting at the computer all the time. It's actually really important that you tell your clients to record their calls, especially if you're like in a lo local legion type of niche or you know you work with clients that actually need to do sales calls or anything related to that, you wanna make sure that they record all of their calls. The reason why is like I said, this comes down back to the lead conversion thing. You wanna make sure that they actually that you can hear their calls, what they're talking about, what they're saying, because naturally they will be more inclined to know more about their own business and the sales process within their own business instead of knowing how to convert you know, people that or leads that came from online ads to offline sales. Like some of them might know it, but there's might be like a 1% to 3 to 5% of all of the clients in your niche that might know actually how to do that really good because it takes a different type of like skill to convert the people that come online to offline, right? Um, instead of like offline to offline, that's usually what they've been used to, especially in local lead generation. So that's why I'm talking here about record your calls. Let's set it up in a system where you can record them. Something you can do also with Grozy.io, as I mentioned, making sure that they can record their calls. I can listen back to them and then actually give them feedback on that part. Um, so. Um, I think it's better if I take some time to create a tutorial on how you can call people within there and where you can see the specific things. Um, I think I don't know if I've done that already for you, but um, you, you, I mean, no, I mean, I can. I'm going right now in uh, in go high level. Yeah. I see where there's a phone. You know, 
Um, yeah. Except right now it says it's dialing. I clicked on it expecting it would come up, but it yeah, so if, if you click on it, if you click on the green button on a, on a person, basically, for example, you will it will start dialing them immediately because we have right. a, an automatic phone number already uh, within there to send the SMS uh, and the text messages, right? right. right. So if you click on the green button, it will uh, dial someone. But if you go to the um, top right green button, you can uh, fill in a number, basically. And then that number, you can dial that number from the system here. Uh, and then Got what you. happens, just to share with you, um, I don't know if you can see my screen. Yep. Okay. Uh, if you go to the left, so you have the opportunities tab, then you have the reporting tab. If you click on reporting and go to call reporting, uh, you can go down and you will see um, basically all the calls that have happened, as you can see here. Yes. So um, at Gandhi, if you click on this, this call wasn't recorded because uh, if we go here, uh, then we have, let me see, uh, kind of the people that have uh, made the calls or our team basically. Uh, what we needed to trigger on is the uh, phone call recording. So if we click on here, uh, this is the number right now and the call recordings are now clicked. So you can see the, the calls are all recorded for quality purposes. Okay. Uh, so that's on and the only thing is this like this is the phone number um, okay and if someone makes a dial to you uh, they get redirected to your company phone number so this one okay yep right so yep. Um, you should be getting um, phone calls already but well, I've, I've seen I've seen where they come up with um, you know it says that they've called but I've never gotten a phone call. I mean, it could be that they didn't stay there long enough, um, but it's never rung through to my my phone. Okay. Or now I can I can tell you that I've gotten phone calls um, where I'm going hello, hello, and hear nothing, mm -hmm. you know, and then it ends up can't it ends up. So you see me actually having a to do where I share with him what we're gonna be doing. I recommend doing this with every client. You can have it in like a Google Docs with, with the notes, or you can have it in like a Trello. I use Trello for all my clients with the boards. And then I have like a to-do uh, all the way on the left-hand side with like a you know column. And it says like the to-do and then all the to-dos that we need to do in every single meeting, we just go through all the to-dos because it helps to have an overview for all the clients. But you can just have a Google Drive folder with all the notes, go to, over that with the clients. And as you can see, I mean, I'm not probably not sharing this with you right now, but I have like a, a couple of like 10 steps of like that I'm taking along the client through and then actually going through all of these points to make sure that he, that we've gone through all of the important things that we need to go over, right? I'll just skip a couple of things because this is most technical stuff, but you get the gist. Like I'm talking about with him about how to actually record the calls. Really important because we need to make sure that every single call that he is making is being recorded so I can listen back to it, right? And that's something we can do with the system. Could that possibly, I have to say, take the pulse and um, Then basically, uh, so you can have that, is that we have a manual say Wayne, um, right. to be a telemarketer, but if we want to get it closer to that transaction, um, it's going to get, we're going to get there quicker, right? So um, that's, okay. and I have all the, all the scripts, all the assistance, all the, all the things that you need basically that I can just give you uh, that I'm creating in a course form. I think I, I told you that like a couple of weeks right. ago that I'm creating right. right now, which I want to give you to test out to see if it has any additional benefits for yourself um, okay. to use on these leads. But until then, just like I said, what we can do is the leads that have um, gone through the live transfers and gone through the other things um, that, that we put them in this campaigns, either the three month campaign, six month or 12 month campaign. And then within those campaigns that we have a manual call so that they get put in the contact step for you to basically call them. Yep. yep. That's the solution. Okay. Um, the voicemails that you have in those campaigns, mm -hmm. do you need them recorded? Yes. Should I just should I just repeat what I've got before, or you, you can. with a little bit of slight variation? Yeah. So so basically, what I would say here is, hi, you're talking with Wayne Fensmark here from Fox and Roach. Um, uh, you go, you've gone through basically the entire process. We've talked with each other uh, 30 days ago, and I still need to change this campaign, Wayne. So it's not kind of bulletproof yet. Okay. Uh, but then you can say like, okay, so we've talked uh, 30 days ago. I would like to, I was just wondering how everything is going. If you could just send me a message on if you've been able to find a new home or uh, if anything has happened within your process, wanting to do it quicker, um, then uh, then I'm always here for you. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Something like that, basically. And then uh, 
So what you see me doing here is giving examples to the client. And I also gave him like specific templates on how to actually do, you know, the voicemails and how to send the SMS messages with like voice notes and emails and all those things that, you know, based on his specific brand. And then we put those in the system so to actually, you know, send those to the people so we could nurture the people, even if they wanted to just sell after three months. Right. And we just nurture them after 30 days. We still send them a message. We're not going to wait for like three months so that they come back to us. Like that's like irresponsible right so we want to make sure that we as a business owner as a real estate agent as a you know person working on the business nurture these leads even 30 days when they've told us 90 days now it might seem like pushy but it all depends on the way that you approach them so we're not going to be approaching them like hey you want to do business with us now it's going to be like a really soft like push which is going to be hey just checking in with you hope all is well wish you an amazing day what are you how are you standing right now curious to know happy day bye that's it Right. So it's really important you have that as well in place. That's what what the reactivation campaigns are for. Um, something people forget a lot. They just think, oh, I bring a client, immediate clients like no, like the sales process usually is bigger because you will bring a lot of leads. Not all of them will be ready to convert right now. So you need to have systems in place to actually do that. And that's something that we actually work on on every single thing that I do with my clients. Right. And I can I can absolutely I mean, I can literally do it through slack right now yes um if that makes sense yes. um any uh additional things that uh, you would like to talk about um i don't think so i like i said i've i i'm taking it seriously to get this um i thought it was going to be a lot easier to just quickly go through and um and whip up this testimonial document. Yeah. But then the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, well, I can't put, like, there's a ton of people here. And my wife was like, well, maybe you should get rid of some of the old ones. And I said, well, if somebody handed you a pamphlet with information in it and somebody handed you a book with it, right? I'm thinking the one with the book is going to be, uh, I'm going to think differently about them. Yeah. So you might not look at the entire book, but just the idea. And I said, we're, it'd be different if we had, like we were printing something mm -hmm. and it was eight pages cost me a thousand dollars to print something, but 12 pages cost me 1400. Well, okay. Maybe I don't need those extra ones. I can step, I'll put the most current ones up front. Sure. We're talking about ones and zeros. Yeah. You know, it's it's a PDF. It's not going to be... I'd rather have them looking through and going, oh, wow, look at all these people. Sure. Even if some of them are a couple years old. So, and again, I'm looking at old people, young people. Um, I just have them broken down by buyers, sellers, and which areas. That was the other thing. Like, we, we even broke it down into, you know, Berks County, mm -hmm. uh, Montgomery County, Chester County. You know, because when people go... Oh, well, you're up in Montgomery County. You don't know anything about Chester County. No, I want to be able to say, here are the Chester County people. Um, I'm over here in Montgomery County. What do I know about Berks County? Oh, well, I've actually have more sellers in Berks County than I do in Montgomery County, of all things. So, so it was, it was, it was a worthwhile effort to go through and, and identify it's pretty even across buyers and sellers and areas. And I currently have, like I said, I have 17 photos. Mm -hmm. And it's everything from old people to people of color to couples to, to, you know, single people, a woman with her mother, um, eight Indian folks. Um, you know, so I think it's a, a nice mix. Now, because of the way that I'm going to put it together, it shouldn't take very long to get this done. And I should be able to get it done for you today and send it over to you. Um, because I've already got, I'll show you real quick. So you know that I'm not lying to you. Sure. Um, I already have this, you know, started. 
what's really important is always listen to your clients. So for example, when I was, you know, when he's talking here and sharing these testimonials and everything that he's doing, just listen to your clients and listen to what they are talking about. This is really important because you got to make sure that actually everything that they say, they get listened to. They have the sense of feeling listened to. You hear how much I'm talking versus how much he is talking. I'm talking about like 5% of the entire conversation. He's talking 95% of the conversation. I'm not here to consult him. I'm, I'm listening and then, and then seeing how I can add value to the thing that he's mentioning. That's really important in terms of conversating with the client. Okay. When, when I hear them saying things about, you know, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This is really helpful. And I'll kind of like kiddingly say, remember that when I send you that link for the testimonial. Oh, absolutely. I'd be happy to do that. And then I don't wait. I don't wait to the very end. I wait, you know, wait a day or so and then send it to him and say, remember we talked about this yesterday? Yeah. Um, I have a guy who just posted on Facebook. Um, we haven't even finished his transaction yet. We're settling in November. Okay. <laughs> you know, so. You're, you can, uh, we can leverage this, uh, Wayne. This, this is something that you can leverage, which is uh, amazing to use for future references. So we have, if we have a lot of people basically having testimonials and having videos of them and everything else, we can do amazing work with it, not only through uh, Facebook, but also through YouTube. So there's endless possibilities. But um, just like I said, until then, keep on doing that because testimonials are the most important thing. Just think about the time when we started the partnership. Right. We would talk to Tamika basically and when we were starting that that was a right. That's something right from the beginning. Um, and from there on out, the most important thing right now is doing the work, which will take time. We, we got to put some time in basically to go right. for these transactions because we're here. We're, we're honestly here into keeping them close because the timeline is getting here, right? Because it's, it's already October, October, November. They, there got to be some people stepping in and, and doing business with us, but only right. if we keep in touch with them. So, um, so, you see, I'm already like future pacing the client, future pacing in the essence of like, hey, you know, we're going to be getting these clients in October, November. Now it's September, but in October, November, we're going to be getting these clients, right? So I, I let him know like, hey, I know these clients are going to come here, AKA meaning in two to three months when we continue the partnership, we're going to have more clients, right? So you want to really future pace your clients and let them know and really comfort them and say like, Hey, listen, if we just continue doing what we're doing, we're on a really good pace. You know, we're going to be on a good note to actually close these clients and close these deals, especially with real estate and, and other niches where it's more of a long-term sales process. It's important. You let them know and really comfort them and say, Hey, it's going to take a little bit longer than, and, and just, they're just saying like, oh yeah, we need clients right now. We're not getting them. Like, don't even talk about that. Talk about the future plan, the future pace and about what is going to be happening in the future. Really, really important you do that, right? Yeah. Where, where do we where do we stand in our, our 90 day, what do you call it? And where, where are we at for? Yeah. So we have a 90 day partnership agreement with the clients and he asked it himself. I didn't even ask it because I didn't want to ask it and come across like, oh, you know, I want to get you on the money. I could have done it and I, sh I wanted to do it immediately, but he was already before me. So he mentioned after this conversation, what was it like 45 minutes in or 40, 40 minutes in, he asked me, so how are we standing on our partnership right now? And then it gives me an open opening to say the following. That's what I, um, that's what I wanted to discuss with you as well. Finally, uh, lastly is uh, 4th of October. So that's this Sunday. Uh, right. it's the, uh, 90 days are over basically. Okay. Um, and usually what then goes on basically from the uh, price that we have discussed with, with the clients, everything else, it goes by rolling mo month by month, uh, okay. unless, uh, unless some clients have a really good experience and they say, you know what, uh, we want to do this for future things. And we want to have a, a longer period of time where we want to work because we want to settle down, set everything up for you or anything else. But usually just like I said, it, it rolls on month by month uh, for the price that we discussed. So, yeah. but that's, I, you, that's something I'll leave for the, for, for you, uh, for me. Would you, yeah. would you be interested in doing, uh, what could we do if we did like another three months? That's doable. Sure. That's, uh, okay. that's, that's, that's no issue for me. Uh, just like I said, as long as um, they start getting in October and November, so we can see kind of the next 90 days, what happens, uh, because we're pushing like crazy base. So one thing I could have done better here, to be honest, just, you know, self, you know, giving constructive feedback to myself, it just tell him like, hey, so, you know, we started this 90 day period, um, you know, 
And I, I wouldn't even have said like, oh, it usually goes in rolling month by month because I do a 90 day agreement and then I want to get a client on like a six month or a 12 month agreement. So I could have said to him, you know, usually what we do with clients is we, after the 90 days, if they've joined the, 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 the you know, everything that we've done so far, of course, it takes a longer sales process to actually, you know, get the results for real estate agents like yourself. Um, but what we do is in a, on a 12 month period, it basically is a, you know, the, um, the, we cut off two months of the price that you're paying on a monthly basis. So you only pay for 10 months. Right, and then for the six month one, you actually don't pay for one month, and and we have those two actually to follow in line. Is that something? And I would, could have asked a question: Is that is one of those two something you would be open for? Maybe talking about further. So I only give him those two options because then I I, I don't leave the space to say month by rolling month by month or like the same ninety days because then he will say it again. I just, I, I just give him an option to something else, which is longer because I want to get him on that. And if he then says like, oh no, look, you know, maybe we should do like 90 days. I could say, okay, that's no worries. The only thing is though, if we do 90 days, I cannot get you any price off. I ended up doing and giving him that uh, like a 5% discount or 10% discount on the entire price when he paid up, up front the entire thing, which he did. So that's something you got to keep in mind. You know, I could have done that different, but that's something uh, for you to perhaps take away, um, you know, moving forward. We need to get all the systems set up, the sales thing set up. Uh, it's still a work in progress. I, I, I think it's a continuous work in progress. Uh, but to see like when we started off and right now when we're at with you, with almost so many people in the database and, you know, almost getting to a transaction, another 90 days would, uh, would be fine. Fine by me, honestly. Okay. So um, just to give you an overview then, um, basically what will happen is because that contact is, I will terminate the other contact uh, contract basically. So then the only thing that needs to be happening is the um, contract for the upcoming 90 days basically. Um, but I can send it over to you and then you can you can get that okay. uh, going from the fourth. Um, then the only thing is the, the fee, how would you like to do that? Because the, the last time you did everything at once, do you want to do that again or do you want to do it month by month basically? What's better for you? Are you are you offering the same yep that we had we can do that okay sure awesome uh let me get that contract uh, over to you uh okay. so because it's the one from the onboarding that you done i don't know if you can remember so it's pretty much pretty simple it's pretty relaxed right and there's no like oh you need to do this. i'm just pretty relaxed so so i know a lot of people when it comes down to the close or like reselling upselling clients they just completely like they like tense up, right? Or when they call with you, they're tense up. Like, I'm, I'm just like, relaxed. I'm just like, you know, you know, how much are we gonna do? Like, you wanna continue, you wanna do it all at once? Do you wanna do monthly? What do you wanna do? And he says like, you know, I would, do you offer like the same, I gave him 10% and he said, yeah, let's do that. And then I said, okay, let me get you over the contract right now. Got him over the contract. He signed it, which we'll take a look at right now. And then uh, regarding the fee, I'll mention that also as well in just a couple of minutes so you can also, also see that. But that's that's what I'm gonna give you as a tip. Like, just be relaxed. Like, especially if it's already a client, like, don't just, don't worry about, and don't have your energy, like, go up when it comes down to the close or a resell or upsell. It's just a natural way of processing things, natural way of what should happen. And whatever happens, happens. Take it as it is and move on with that, right? Yeah, um, yeah. The morning, and then, um i see we still have 10 minutes so we can we can perhaps if you have time i don't know if you have time wayne uh so like five to ten minutes uh yeah. get it going then we can uh, set that up let me see all right so now i'm just sending the contract I skipped ahead to the to the part where i actually sent him everything and we talk about the fee because this one takes a little bit let me just see so now we're getting the price um anyhow uh, wayne in that regard i uh, did receive the contract so everything uh, everything is uh, done and dusted um are you okay with taking the the payment right now is that doable for yourself right now for for the upcoming uh, 90 days yeah direct question the payment for the upcoming 90 days is that doable for you right now yes or no question closing question yes yes okay boom we take it no okay what would be the best time for you to actually take it and we take it that time right direct question yes or no question closing question okay uh let me just see is your um what's down pa 19464 if correct okay awesome let me just get that over right now So that'll run us through the beginning of January. Yeah, what is it? October, 4th of October uh, to 4th of November, 4th of November to 4th of December, 4th of December to 4th of January. Right, okay. 
uh, let me send you, I think I, let me see, I have it on auto basically. It's, um, let me see, 2396 euros two. Yeah, figure out your euros versus uh, yeah. yes. US dollars. Yes. So last time we did, uh, all right, so, so dollars basically went up. Let me just share this with you. So last time we did this amount, so it's almost 2,400 euros basically. And it's gone down by, by 100 basically. We'll figure out what it's supposed to be at 2,700. Yep. Let me see. Sorry about that. No, no worries, no worries, no worries. Uh, it's 2296, and that's a little bit less, but that's completely fine. Let me see. Yeah, so one, one thing as well that I always recommend to now, you, if you're from Europe or, or like UK or whatever, and you're invoicing like clients from different countries, just always just invoice from your currency from that country. So if I were in the Netherlands, it's 3000 euros. And what I ended up doing is I ended up charging him like 800 euros less, which is insane. Like it's just 3000 euros. That's it. I'm not cutting down on my currency. So keep the same currency because it's your currency. So like if you're country to country, like the, the same country to the same country, then it's all always same currency. But if you're, you know, your country towards another country, just keep your currency. It's your price and that's it, right? I'm not going to be converting a price or something like that. Like. They can just pay the euros with their credit cards, right? And then it will automatically convert to the right amount of dollars for them. So it's just, if I say 3,000 euros and dollars happens to be $800 more, that's the price. Like that's the amount that I'm charging you, right? So never change your price or currency to the country because <laughs> it might be a lot lower, right? Like that's just insanity. Like you don't want to do that. Um, that's weird. Do you want me to send that's another fine. one? No, that's fine. Don't. Yeah. So he took the 2,800 one, right? And that was pretty much just it, right? Okay, well, no, no, I can stop this one. And, and no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, okay, no, well, that's fine. apologies for that. Of my territory. Think about moving the, the... And that was it, right? In terms of the invoice, really simple. Took care of it in a call, took care of the new agreement. Agreement out of the way, payment out of the way, boom, we can go and move on. And now we're just finishing up the call. Circumference or the... the the area that we're focusing on, move it a little further south sure. and talk about Chester County. You know what I mean? Because at some yeah, point yeah. you run out of things to test and it's like, okay, we can test every little minutia, you know, minutia, but one of the big areas that we could mm -hmm. change is the geography. Geography, yeah, correct. So uh, I've noted it down. Uh, in okay. terms of kind of the ad in itself, it's usually dependent on the price so people are usually looking at the price and then filling in their information or it's um, like you say, it's, it's a it's a photo basically. It's what yep, kind yep. of home do they see that kind of resonates with the ideal home that they have. So it's a price yep. for, or the picture and third comes the, the audience basically. Um, so it's us tweaking okay. all those things continuously and you never have a, there, there's not such a thing as a perfect home, right? Right. You, you can always, it can always be better. So uh, we'll be- Oh no, I, I, I saw I saw one of the comments that, uh, that somebody posted on Facebook was, are you kidding? That house isn't, uh, isn't $299,000. <laughs> Technically it, it was, it sold for like under 400, mm -hmm. but it's not far off of what some of them look like. I mean, it's it just happened to be a really good picture because I had a really good sunset and a really good, you know, it right. really looks spectacular, so. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, any other things that we need to discuss, just let me know. Uh, okay. Link coming in every single Monday, updates coming in every single uh, Thursday. Once you have time, just let me know. Uh, and the calls, please let me know how the calls go within the system. Okay. If there's any, any yep. issue, uh, just send me a message and we'll take a look at that. Uh, we can even plan a, a call before our call in two weeks just to see how everything is going because I want to make sure that that's going well. And okay. now we're just pushing it a lot more, bringing more energy into calling the people, uh, following up with them because we have these leads. We want to converting them right now and they'll convert right. eventually but it's just when that's the question right right so, well yeah. and we have to be in front of them when they decide mm -hmm. yes so okay yes uh wayne anything additional know where to find me uh for now have a good weekend uh let me know how the call went with the person okay. i'll let the ISA yep. know as well and then uh wish you a nice weekend and speak in two weeks thanks you too okay. take care thanks bye-bye 
all right guys so that was pretty much just the uh you know the entire you know sales call or checking call or whatever you want to call it so um i hope you've taken something out of that like i said um the most important thing is talking about the lead conversion with the client and then when you do a resell or a you know upsell or you just try to sell a client just stay relaxed right stay relaxed handle the contract handle the payment immediately don't wait with it right just handle it immediately and have it out of the way because that kind of gives you the room to then go ahead and just do the work that's needed right so with that being said let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video did you find it valuable in terms of a checking call to actually see how everything is being done i know that a lot of you are doing calls and a lot of you actually you know want to close clients or want to resell clients or whatever so hope this gave you some insight in terms of how i do it how i set up all the systems and how i help the client to actually you know get to that point this ended up being a client which stayed who stayed longer than almost like a year with me when i was you know still doing the ads myself and everything like that so it was an amazing lesson learned from my end as well in terms of the the currency so yeah let me know what you thought of it down in the comments down below look forward to the next videos that are going to be coming up and if you enjoy this i might do another really like a sales breakdown of a potential client that didn't know me and that wasn't a client before and share that with you as well in the next video so for now thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye